Hi guys, it's GT here and I am back with another What Happens If video. Today I'm going to be showing you what happens if you try to kill one of the Yarls of Skyrim. I'm currently in Whiterun and I'm going to be heading up to Dragon's Reach to see what happens if I attack Yarl Bolgroth. And just like a president or a king or queen, you'd expect that they are pretty heavily guarded. However, unlike a president, you can just walk into his front door and go straight up to him. So, I suppose we better see what happens if we shoot an arrow into Yarl Bolgroth's face. What is it that you need? Hey, so after shooting an arrow into Jarl Bolgroth's face, I don't see any guards at all. No problem with that. The only person close is Irileth and she isn't even bothered either. Hey, Watson. Second arrow. What's the matter with you? Third arrow. Don't do that again. Fourth arrow. So after five arrows to the Jarl's face, they decide to come after me. And we'll see now that there are plenty of people trying to basically save the Yarl, including the Yarl himself comes after me. And as you can see, there are loads of white run guards. So guards come out of nowhere, guys. Even the mage joins in, as you can see here. And basically everybody to do with the Yarl starts fighting in his favor. And I get absolutely blasted up into the air by the mage. So we've established that if you just wander up to the Yarl and shoot him in the face, after a while, you do have a hell of a lot of heat on you. And as we just saw, it's very likely that you'll end up dead. However, I'm interested to see what happens if we actually sneak up on Jarl Borgruff while he's sleeping. So I'm just going to wait a few hours until nightfall and come back then. So after waiting until approximately 1.30am, you'll see that the Jarl is no longer in his throne. So there's still quite a lot of people around, so we're going to have to be kind of sneaky. So in we go. So this guy kind of sleeps in a really terrifying way with his eyes wide open. Shut the door to the kids' room. And we found Jarl Balgruff asleep in his bed. Better close the door. So let's see what happens now. Nobody can see us. I'm on your side. You're pushing your luck. And the Jarl, as you can see, is down to his feet. And he just gets straight back in bed. He's not phased at all. You can even just have a quick chat with him after you've stuck a few arrows into him. So what happened then was the Jarl actually went down to zero health didn't die and then looked like he just regained his health and carried on. So let's try again. I'm on your side. What's the matter with you? I'm not going to warn you again. And as you can see, exactly the same thing happens. So guys, you cannot actually kill Jarl Borgruff the Greater. And very similar to the video I made about Serana, which I'll link in the description, he essentially just goes down to zero health, but then regains it straight away. I think one of the reasons that you can't kill your Borgruff is simply because it will massively alter some of the quest lines that you try and do. So overall, I would suggest that you don't bother trying to kill a Yarl because there's really not much to gain from it. However guys, as you can see, you can knock him out of a chair and your unrelenting force shout will do some damage to him. As well as the perfectly laid table. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will be making some more of these What Happens If videos. And if you do have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching guys. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.